This is the pile of sweet potatoes that were infected with the sweet potato weevil. Just to give you an idea, here's my hand. It's the pile. And Benjamin was here, Jerry said, uh, cutting some up. That's why they're kind of strewn about. And there's one over there. That might have been actually taken by a critter. Maybe 30 pounds worth of sweet potatoes. Hey everybody, it's Emily and it's just, yes, I know the picture isn't going to be very nice. It's kind of dark in here, even with the lamp on. But yeah, so to answer the question in the title of my video, does diatomaceous earth help to keep the sweet potato weevil away from sweet potatoes? No, not the way I did it. Now, I did read an article online that said diatomaceous earth is more effective than pesticides, but the thing about it was we had two times in the last couple of months where we had a bunch of rain. We had like seven or eight inches within a 24 to 36 hour period. And then before that and after that, there was, you know, there were drizzles. There would be have little bits of rain at a time. And I think that even happened earlier in the summer. And I had determined that I was only going to put more diatomaceous earth on the base of the plants if there was, if they were, if the diatomaceous earth had been obviously washed away by rain. Also, when we had that last big rain, it was the, at the end of September, I said, well, I'm going to be harvesting the sweet potatoes in three weeks. I'm just going to not bother putting more diatomaceous earth on. Maybe that was the mistake. So it could have been if I had just religiously applied diatomaceous earth every single week without fail, no matter what the weather, whether it was dry, whether it, whether it was dry or wet, whether it looked like there was still a good bit of diatomaceous earth, maybe if I'd have done it that way, maybe if I hadn't been lazy at the end of September and I would have put that one last batch on, maybe it would have been all right. But this is what I think survived the sweet potato weevil. There are actually a couple here. I'm not sure which they are. There are a couple of big potatoes that do have one end that have sweet potato weevil holes in them. And I can't remember which two they are. Maybe that one. Oh, it doesn't matter. Anyway, but I, last year I had some big ones that would have uh, sweet potato weevil holes on one end, and that end was bitter, but if I cut the potato in half, the other half of the potato that didn't have the holes in it was good. So that's why I went ahead and cured um, those sweet potatoes that were dubious. Yeah, I think this is, yeah, this is one look. See, see all those holes? There will be at least one sweet potato larva inside somewhere here. If I cut it open, if I cut, keep cutting, keep cutting, <laughs> I'll be able to find it. But it could be that, you know, if I cut this part off, this part of the potato would be good. And that's, you know, the equivalent of a large sweet potato right there. But Yeah, um, not worth it. Not worth growing sweet potatoes. Because I don't want, frankly, I don't want the work. I don't want to have to do all the work of going out and doing the diatomaceous earth every week. And not being sure if it's going to work. And besides, sweet potatoes... Besides needing to be cured, they also need to be re kind of refrigerated. They need to be kept at 55, 60 degrees when you're storing them. If you if it, if they do have a weevil in them, that'll kill the larva. Do you know that it doesn't have to be a really cold temperature to make the larva go, do go dormant and die, and also to keep them from sprouting. So please don't leave a comment in the comment section giving me sympathy. It's okay. I'm not crying over it. This was an experiment. Oh, by the way, the sweet potato and leaves. Remember I had a pot and the sweet potato was buried in leaves and that's all. There was just a little soil at the bottom. It produced, you know, a few little teeny tiny potatoes. So in case you're wondering, don't do that. <laughs> you, need to, you need to have something more substantial like pine mulch on top of them to grow. But anyway... Yeah, I'm done growing sweet potatoes, and that's okay. It's not like we can't afford to go buy food. Uh, we don't believe the stuff is hitting the fan. 
So we're not worried about, I mean, we know, well, I know how to grow sweet potatoes. If I absolutely must, I know how to do it. In the meantime, I'm going to stop stressing myself out in the uh, summer garden and not grow sweet potatoes anymore. All right, so, well, if you decide you're going to grow sweet potatoes, apply the diatomaceous earth once a week and maybe let me know how it goes. <laughs> Well, thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'll see you for the next video. In the meantime, take care and be well.